Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. Well, we're in the month of December, and pretty soon we're gonna be in the throes of parties and get-togethers, and we're gonna want some nice glam looks to go to those things. That's what I'm gonna be showing you today. I'm gonna to have a tutorial on this look, which is Saint Beauty's, one of their newest collections called the Frosted Pine Collection. It's a beautiful green with a shimmer to go with my green sweater. <laughs> if you are new here and you are over 50, even if you're not, you're in the right place. My channel, Mindy Over 50, is all about makeup, beauty, skincare, and lifestyle for the over 50 woman. I'm over 50. I'm actually 67, soon to be 68. So if you get, while you're watching this, I should say, if you're getting any value out of my tutorial, I'd love it if you give me a big thumbs up and consider subscribing. So without further delay, let's get started. So to make things easy, I put together a little palette of the colors I'll be using today. And I'm starting with my main highlight, which is amber, and that's the one that most closely matches my own skin tone. This is cream makeup. It goes on so easy, and it's meant to go in one layer. Next, I'm going to put my brightening highlight on, which I'm using linen. It's going on the corners of my eyes, nose, cupid's bow, chin, and between my brows. Next, I'm putting on my Astoria contour. It's going around the perimeter of my hairline and also right underneath my cheekbones. I'm putting some on either side of my nose to slim it. And then I'm going to kind of fine tune that nose contour. And I end up by putting my brightening highlight right down the tip of the nose. Anything that is dark is going to recede and anything that we have light on is going to come forward or be emphasized. So now I'm just blending everything and you're gonna see how the tip of my nose or I should say the bridge of my nose is coming forward and the sides are receding. Now I'm gonna take my brightening highlight and start on my eyes. I laid a base on my eyelids and I'm also using it to clean up around my brows. And I just wanted to point out the four products that are included in the Frosted Pine collection. I added a few more in this tutorial, but those are the four that are included. And now I'm taking that Tropicana and I'm placing it as a blush. Next, I am using my Astoria um, contour to line my lips, and then I will fill those in with the Tropicana. And we are ready for eyes. I'm using my dual-ended eyeshadow brush. I'm applying the eyeshadow called number 33 uh, all over my upper lid and inside corner and outside corner. And that's that beautiful green shimmery color. And my Goldie Illuminator is going on the center of the lid, right there in the center. Uh, I added a green matte shadow, which is a little darker, called Ivy League, and that's going on the outside corners of my eye, just for a little more emphasis. And one last blend around the eyes to soften everything. And now we are ready for eyeliner. This Black Friday cream eyeliner is so easy to put on. Um, it just glides like a dream and it really makes a big difference in the way your eyes look. And we're finishing things off with a couple coats of mascara. I'm using Lash Princess by Essence. I've fallen in love with it. 
and I've been using it quite a bit the last couple weeks. And now is the time to reassess. I thought I needed a little more blush on my cheeks and another coat of the Tropicana on my lips. And I'm finishing off with that beautiful goldy illuminator on the tops of my cheekbones, my nose, the bridge of my nose and tip of my nose, my Cupid's bow. And I'm adding a little bit of bronzer just to warm my complexion and neck up. I just love this green and shimmery gold look. It's so easy to do. I will have all of the shade names and the products listed in the description box. I hope you will try this too and let me know how it works out for you. So here's my finished look. I hope you like it. This is the Frosted Pine Collection from Saint Beauty. And I'm so happy that you hung around with me today and watched the tutorial. I hope you learned something from it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and consider subscribing. I love you all. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.